Hare Krishna. The mind is like a bully who has terrorized us for long. It's time to stand up. Bullies prey on the weak and the vulnerable. And the more somebody lets themselves get terrorized by a bully, uh, the more they get intimidated and the more the bully sees that this person is intimidated by me, the more the bully domineers and uh, torments. So if we do not, uh, unless we stand up to a bully, we will never be able to uh, do, uh, we will never be able to get rid of the bully. So our mind is a bully like that. It demands, do this, buy this, touch this, watch this, eat this. And if we keep giving in to the bully, then we can, we can never do anything worthwhile in our life. In fact, we can't, we often do things which are reprehensible, we can't act respectably and we lose respect not only in the world's eyes but in our own eyes. Just like a person who lets themselves be bullied, uh, they don't, they feel sorry for themselves, the world feels sorry for them but they don't grow, nobody respects them, even the bully doesn't respect them. Similarly, as long as we keep listening to our mind, it will keep bullying us. And sometimes if the bully is physically much bigger than the, than the person being bullied, then the, the person being bullied may feel helpless. But if they have a friend or a father figure who is much stronger than the bully, and if they take their help, and most importantly, even to tell that tell that fa uh, father figure, they have to have some courage. They need to stand up to the bully. So, similarly for us, we all need to stand up to the bully of the mind. So, the Bhagavad Gita says that in 6.36, Asanyatatmana yogo duchprapiti me matihi vashyatmana tu yatata shakyo vaptum upayata that if we do not control the mind, we cannot achieve any lasting connection uh, with anything worthwhile materially or spiritually. Our life gets wasted if we keep giving in to the mind's bullying. But it is possible to, uh, uh, to control the mind if we, if we uh, strive by the appropriate means. Now, what does the appropriate mean? The first thing is, we need to learn to stand up to the bully. Similarly, we need to stand up to the mind. So actually, we are souls, we are indestructible, we are parts of the all attractive supreme. So in that sense, the mind being material and the soul being spiritual, the soul has the innate strength and the soul can connect with the supreme strength of the omnipotent supreme Krishna. So standing up to the mind means that we make the resolution that I am not going to listen to the mind, that I am going to resist the mind. And not that I am going to reject the mind entirely, but I am going to evaluate the mind, not uncritically give into the mind. So when we make that resolution, so sometimes if a bully come, if, a, if, if the authorities receive a complaint about the bully, then, uh, then they, they can act. Similarly, Krishna can act to help us when we make the resolution to stand up to the bully. So here, it's not so much complaint to Krishna, but Krishna sees our intentions. God helps those who help themselves. When we decide, I'm, I'm not going to listen to the wild, unreasonable, self-destructive demands of my mind. I'm going to focus on my purpose of connecting with Krishna, of serving Krishna, of living my life for worthwhile purposes. And with that intention, when we turn away from the mind and turn toward Krishna, then we will find that the bully will fall back. Although it may yell and scream, but it will be rendered powerless by our determination. Even if it threatens, it cannot really hurt us unless we start covering before it by turning towards our Lord who is towering far above us and far above the bully of the mind, we can become protected from that mind. Thank you. Hare Krishna.